are here in the presence of God in another time of perfection. I'll be reading from the book of First Peter chapter 5 verse 10. And it says, But the God of all grace, who has called you into his internal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. We are going to pray and talk to the Lord. Lord, everything that concerns me, Lord, in this time, Lord, please perfect them. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, all that concerns me, O oh God, even in the land of the living, even at this time, Lord, please perfect them in the name of Jesus. Perfect them in the name of Jesus. Perfect them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. The Bible says in the time of famine that Isaac sold in the land and he reaped a hundredfold. You are going to talk to God that the, at this time, in this time of pandemic, that the Lord will establish you. Open your mouth and talk to God in the name of Jesus. When the word is saying there is a casting down, what will be your story is that there is a lifting up. Open your mouth and talk to God in the name of Jesus. You will not go down. In the name of our Lord Jesus, the Lord will prosper the works of your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will cause you to succeed at this time. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Lastly, you are going to talk to God. That Lord, in this time, please renew my strength. May I not go down. May my strength be continually renewed. According to this word in the book of First Peter chapter 5, verse 10. May I be strengthened, oh God. Open your mouth and talk to God in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Love in you, my strength, oh God. In my walk with you, oh God. The journey is far, oh God. Strengthen me more and more. May I get to my destination. May I get to my land of promise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Talk to God, talk to God, talk to God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. So shall it be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Still in the mood of prayer, I will quickly read from Genesis 40, 13. And the butler dream, Joseph, yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head and restore thee unto thy place. And thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand, and after the former manner when thou was his butler. Our prayer point to be centered on restoration. And from the butler's story, he was once at that position, and before he was taken to the prison and back. So we tell God, my father, let my restoration appear. Let's begin to pray. My father, my Lord, let my restoration appear in the name of Jesus. Even at this time of this lockdown, COVID, let my restoration appear in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And secondly, we'll tell God, in every prison where the enemy has placed me and has not made me to taste even the place where you, are, where you want me to be, Father Lord, release me and take me to my place. Let's begin to pray that God will take us away from the prison, from the cell, wherever the enemy has hidden us, and he will take us to the right, rightful place. Let's begin to pray. God, bring us to the rightful place in the name of Jesus. Take us, O oh God, even from where the enemy has placed us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We also want to pray, even as the psalmist says in 126, that even when the Lord brought the captivity of the Israelites, it was like, they were, like those that were dreaming. So let's tell God, every of my captivity, Lord, restore it to God. Like, like a dreamer. Even at this time, that it seems that nothing may be positive at this lockdown. Lord, bring back, oh God, everything that the enemy has taken away from me. Father Lord, bring back everything that the enemy has taken away from me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Turn with me quickly to the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, as I read verse 7. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plague, and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof, with shoutings, crying, grace, 
grace unto it. I want to cry out loud and talk to God. This is the fifth month, and today we're in our time of perfection. Cry and ask for the grace of God. There was a mountain before Zerubbabel, and it's only grace that can, that, that can resolve it. So cry out and call that name Jesus three times and say, My Father and my God, release the grace upon me to overcome every obstacle before me in this month. Begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to cry. Cry. The Bible says, Ze uh, Zechariah cried out that grace be upon it. Pray. Cry. That the grace will be upon you to overcome every obstacle to your success in this month. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And lastly, pray and talk to Almighty God. He says, it is, the, 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 the word says, shouting and crying. And that was why the Lord God sent Jesus this grace upon upon the earth. I want you to cry out again to Almighty God. He says he's crying over it, that grace, grace be upon it. God talk to Almighty God. Say, oh Lord, my Father, I cry out for a new grace. A new grace to another level. In the name of Jesus at this time, begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are crying that release your grace upon us. Even in this fifth month, remember, five signifies our uh, grace. Pray and cry to God. Now he will release his grace upon you. His grace at this time. His grace for sustenance. His grace to move forward. The grace of God to be fruitful. The grace of God to the grace of God to make it begin to talk to him. The grace of God for a new strength. Even to walk with him in the way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. I want to say a very powerful amen. I pray by the name that's above every other name. That the grace that is sufficient to make it in life be released anew upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want all of us to understand and know that whenever a man encounters a problem, often it brings about some benefits. But what people are passing through stops them from seeing these benefits. And that is what I want us to pray about. You will tell the king of kings what the world is passing through at the moment. Lord, let it turn, let it turn to good things. Let me see a good thing. Shall we pray in the mighty name of Jesus? Talk to God, talk oh, to God. La, that what the world is passing through oh, at the moment, moment. is making something oh, to oh, be. Oh, Lord, let me laugh oh, at oh, oh, it. Oh, let it be good to oh, me. Oh, let it turn to me for oh, good. Let it turn to me for oh, good. Oh, talk to God, talk to God. 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 What we are passing through will not overwhelm me. We will not overwhelm me. Let's talk to God. God. Let's talk to God. Jesus, Oluwa. Amen. I want us to take the prayers one more time. Countless times. What people are passing through will have so overwhelmed their lives. But I want to assure us that, that a lot of people have seen that become rich. There are some people that are weeping in their houses. Let take the prayers again. It, is, it was God that opened the eyes of me. that woman able to see that well where she was weeping. Her thought was that it is finished. So you will tell God, Lord, that open a new well of blessings to me. Lord, open a new well of blessings to me. Let me see a new thing in God's life passing through. Turn it to prayers. In Jesus, the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 And I'll draw my prayer points and bless you from this particular passage during this time of perfection program. Verse 38, Luke chapter 10. And Jesus and his disciples were on their way. He came to a village where a woman named Martha 
opened a home to him. A woman named Martha opened a home to him. Now, the long and short of this is, it was not too long after that, that their brother, that's the house in which you have Mary and Martha and Lazarus. Lazarus died. But before the death of Lazarus, Mary had opened the door of her home to the Savior, the restorer, the healer, and, the, and, to, and to the master builder. Some of us have our lives locked up. You have your heart closed against God, his word, the ministers of God, the things of God. And so when you fall into trouble, when you are in need, there is no helper for you. This woman had opened a home to Jesus. And so when someone in that home, by the Lazarus had the problem, the Savior was already resident in that place. The Savior was already seated. He had become the friend of the family. Raise your hand and cry out to, Lord, to the Lord. Where have I missed it? Where have I closed the door of my life? The door of greatness and opportunities. The door of God's favor. Where have I closed? The Lord have mercy on me. And help me to open the door of my home and my life to you. Shall we begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree from today. In that area where I have closed the door of my life. Oh, close the door of my home to you. Lord I pray that I will change my heart. I will change my mind. Thank you Lord. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. That door of your home. That door of your life where the Lord should walk into and have access to you so that he can bless you it's been shot through your selfishness it's been shot because your mind you, is hardened you are rigid you are not flexible with the things of God but I pray for you today so that God can perfect something in your life there shall be an open door in your life, open door in your heart, open door in your home. And God will walk in and bless you. In the name of Jesus, this seventh day of the month of May 2020, there shall be a turnaround, there shall be a blessing, there shall be a unique and great opportunity for you by the power of the Lord. Father, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Don't forget this. This month will favor you. Keep shining. Jesus is coming back very soon. The coronavirus pandemic cannot hold you down, cannot lock you down. For your goodness and favor will be open from heaven. But you open your door so that God can walk in and bless you. Remain rapturable for Jesus is coming very soon. Amen. Oh.